after winning the Premier League last season, Erling Haaland scoring 64 goals in all competitions. We had to stay at Man City and challenge for the FA Cup to go in our trophy cabinet along with the Serie A, the Coppa Italia, the Bundesliga, the DFB Pokal, the two Champions League trophies we've won. Can we win the FA Cup this year? That's right, we have spent more money. Not as much as last season, but we have spent some money and some players have gone. Players who I thought were getting old was not going to improve the squad, was not going to improve themselves in a couple of years. We brought in young, talented players who are hungry for success. Transfers out and we sold £130 million worth of players out. Odrago is the most expensive, going to Real Madrid for £55 million. He didn't play any games for us last year. He, well, no, he's not really played since he signed. So £55 million in the bank. Tommy Asu has got a Barcelona for 37 could raise to 50 But now the Silva's gone to a Saudi club for 30 million. And the rest of them are all on loan for development. And we spent 146 million pounds. Now that's not quite that's not a lot, really, compared to what we spent the previous season. Our first signing is 5 million pounds, Santiago Diaz, a left back who is here for the future. Good. Um, physically mentors are alright he's got a lot of work on uh, technically but he's only 20 years old but for 5 million it's looking like an absolute bargain because he's valued at 65 to 87 million already our next transfer was a free transfer from a Saudi club uh, Joseph Sotano centre back just cover as a centre back 28 years old creation he'll do a job he'll do a job didn't cost nothing he's valued at the 40 million if we need to sell him on we will the next we need another striker to go with Sesco and Haaland. Real Madrid wanted too much money for Hendrik. So for 20 million, we bought in this youngster, Manuel Cortez. And wow, what a sign in this young Colombian is. Technically, he's fantastic. Physically, he's good as well. Got a bit of pace, five foot ten. He is a wonder kid. Hopefully, he gets some game time behind Haaland and Sesco. And he will improve. 19 years old. The next is a £46 million wonder kid again. Giamarco Mastrelli. I think I've nailed that one. 19 years old, centre back. Physically is unbelievable. A six foot two, 16 acceleration, 15 pace, stamina, 17, jumping reach of 14. But right, he's got some work to do marking ways and tackling. Still 14 and 13 is not poor. What a signing this kid could be for Man City. I think I might have made him too good for the future. And our last signing, a £75 million Joshua Xerxy from Everton. He wanted to leave, he wanted to play continental football. He is a backup for Haaland, Sesco, Cortez as well. So we can swap him around and hopefully the goals will still come. If I pick our best 11 without restrictions, this is the starting lineup. Edison in goal. His contract runs out end of the year. Hopefully, we can renew it. He is getting on a bit now, though. He is 35, but he's still a very, very good, solid goalkeeper. Busquets, we are training him to be a fullback because I'm not too sure what his actual position is. Because he's natural at right back, but he's also natural as an attacking midfielder right back he's quality unbelievable 19 years old signed from Villarreal last season what a player he is Ruben Diaz and Gardeval we also signed Destiny Udogi from Tottenham as a left back to replace Tommy Asso for 75 million that happened at the end of the last season that's where we went on the list what a signing Udogi's going to be Rodri and Taram Nico Williams on the left Bill Froden on the right with Sesco and Haaland up top. It's a very strong team. Not many changes from last season, but then we won the league last season and the Champions League. So, schedule-wise, we've done all right so far. We have done all right. We have dropped points already, though. We lost to our bogey team, Everton. Everton seems to be a bogey team for me. Don't know why. Well, we won the Community Shield on penalties against Liverpool. First game of the season, we beat Norwich 4-2. Then smashed Tottenham 6-0. 
before losing to Everton 2 0. Beating our rivals Manchester United 2 1 this time, a bit closer than last season's 10 0. But then we did smash them in the EFL Cup third round 5 0. Competitions where we are currently sitting in fifth place. Liverpool, West Ham, Villa, and Newcastle yet to lose. It's going to be a difficult season. We are predicted to finish top again. And I think we will be there or thereabouts, but we're not concentrating on the league. Our main concentration has got to be the FA Cup. Because once the FA Cup's done, we're out of it. We're out of England. We're gone. We're going to France or Spain. And then see what we get from there. But then we got the conundrum of we need a Europa League and Europa Conference League trophy as well. And being a big, big team, we're not going to get that. We're going to have to go down reputation and go to a, a smaller club just to get those trophies. Right, with all that said and done, let's simulate Season 6 of Glory Hunter. And will we be at Wembley at the end of the season picking up that FA Cup trophy? September, we started off with a 5-2 win against our former side Bayern Munich in the opening game of the Champions League. Haaland getting himself two. After, we travelled to Stamford Bridge winning 3-0 with Phil Foden getting the score and underway in the 67th minute. But a minute later, Adam Wharton made it 2-0 and that man again, Erling Haaland in the 75th minute wrapped up the scoring. We also faced another of our former sides, RB Leipzig, smashing them 5-1 in the Champions League. And Liverpool are already running away with the league with five points clear, yet to lose a game. October, and we started scoring goals for fun, smashing Nottingham Forest 7 1 with Harlan getting a hat trick. Then also, in the same score, beating Bournemouth 7 1. This time, Circus League again, too. But in the Champions League, we won 5 1. Could have barley, Matet for open the score in this one before Diop got an equaliser for Nice. In the second half, Phil Foden made it 2 1. Before Could have barley got his second of the match in the 56th minute. On oh, 90th minute, Busquets got on the score sheet to make it 4 1. And Nico Williams in the 92nd minute wrapped up the scoring. And in the league, we sit fifth, six points still behind Liverpool. This could be a tough season. November, and we started off with a Champions League phase game against Arsenal, winning 2-0 quite comfortably before Arsenal got the equaliser in the 89th and 92nd minute. But it's a different story in the Premier League, beating them 3-1. Lesson learned, I think. But against the league leaders, Liverpool, we were absolutely smashed 3-0. Verts in the 12th minute, giving Liverpool the lead before making it 2-0 on the 22nd minute. The run boom in 72nd minute wrapped up the score and gave Liverpool all three points. And we are nine points now behind Liverpool with 14 games played. Catch up is on. December and with wins against West Ham, Southampton and Crystal Palace. We are confident going into the Tottenham game, but unfortunately we drew 1-1. Benjamin Sisko getting the goal for us in the 28th minute before Bellingham, no, not Jude, Job Bellingham got Tottenham's equaliser and the game finished 1-1. What has happened to Liverpool? We're now a single point behind them. Total race back on. January and it's FA Cup time and surprisingly we drew 2-2 against Wrexham but in the replay we smashed them 2-0. Oscar Pereira getting the goal underway before Joshua Xerxes making it 2-0 and we progress into the fourth round of the FA Cup which we drew 1-1 against Newcastle which now goes to another bloody replay. Erling Haaland got himself four goals in a 7-0 win against Chelsea. Also on the score sheet was Koulibaly in the 31st minute, Sesco in the 67th, Adam Wharton in the 77th. But like I said, Haaland with the four goals. The man is on fire yet again. And somehow in the Premier League, we're now five points clear above Liverpool. We have played the game more, but five points above Liverpool. What's going on? And in the Champions League, we finished top on the league phase. 
which means we go to the round of 16 automatically. February and we beat Newcastle in the fourth round replay 2-0 to set up a fifth round tie against Huddersfield. We smashed Liverpool 5-1 to win the EFL Cup final. FA Cup fifth round and a 7-4 win over Huddersfield. One of the weirdest games ever I think I've ever seen on Football Manager. Adam Wharton got the goals underway in the first minute before Huddersfield equalised in the second minute. They take the lead in the 31st minute before Joshua Zerksey gets his first goal of his hat-trick in the 43rd minute. Just before half-time, Sesko then makes it 3-2 to us at half-time. In the second half, Zerksey got his second goal in the 56th minute before Huddersfield scored from the penalty spot in the 62nd minute. They may have got another goal back in the 77th minute before we got another goal back in the 79th minute from Echeverry. Two late goals in injury time was enough to dent Huddersfield's dreams. They gave us a hell of a game, let's be honest. 7-4 it finished, we were through to the next round. And in the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League, we smashed Atalanta 4-1. We're still top of the league, play the game more though. Four points clear, Liverpool win, down to one. March, and in the second leg, we beat Atalanta 5-1. Means we go through an aggregate 9-2. In the FA Cup quarterfinals, we beat Crystal Palace 4-0 with Haaland getting a hat-trick. And three very, very late goals secured the win. Haaland in the 51st minute, then in the 90th plus three, then in the 90th plus five, and then the wrap of scoring off Koulibaly in the 90th plus seven means we go through to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We beat Arsenal 1-0 in the league. A Taram goal in the 20th minute was all that it took to beat the title challengers. And we are now six points clear of the top of the table, but Liverpool do have three games in hand. April, and we faced PSG in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We lost the first leg 2-1. We beat Liverpool 2-0 in the Premier League with Busquets and Haaland. We won the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League on penalties. But in the FA Cup semi-final, Liverpool got their revenge from their league defeat, beating us 4-2. Nunez getting a goal in the 25th minute again, the score an underway before Taram got the equaliser in the 36th minute. We take the lead in the 39th minute through Rodri before Alexis McAllister in the 43rd minute, making it 2-2 just before the halftime whistle. Literally seconds before the halftime whistle, Mourinho makes it 3-2. And in the 69th minute, it's a naughty number. Ben Doak gets the winner and puts Liverpool into the FA Cup final. Champions League semi-final first leg, Barcelona win 2-0. Rodri sent off there. And in the second leg, we win 3-0, 5-0 on aggregate, which means we get another Champions League final. Haaland getting the score and underway in the 23rd minute before getting a second in the 68th minute. And Nico Williams wrapped up the score in the 74th minute. May, and in our final game of the season, we lose 3-2 to Crystal Palace. Sesco got, off, got us off to a perfect start in the first minute with a goal. Before Edward in the third minute got the equaliser. 15 minutes in, and Turan made it 2-1 Man City. But with five minutes to go, we absolutely just lost the plot. Coito with the equaliser for Crystal Palace, and in the 89th minute, Eze getting Crystal Palace's winner. But in the Champions League, we face Liverpool, our arch rivals, but we smashed them 3-1. Erlen Haaland in the 20th minute, getting the score underway, even though he has a knock. Lukaku got Liverpool's equaliser in the 24th minute, before Haaland in the 80th minute made it 2-1, and we had one hand on the trophy. We had both hands on the trophy when Sesko did a little dink over the keeper. Another unbelievable season with Manchester City. Premier League. Champions League, EFL Cup, but no FA Cup. Liverpool beat us in the semi-final 4-2 to put a massive dent in this season. But don't get me wrong, it's been a fantastic season yet again. Again, winning the Champions League, beating Liverpool in the final 3-1. Winning the Premier League on 90 points. Seven points clear of Liverpool. Arsenal and Villa finish in the Champions League spot along with Everton. Chelsea, West Ham and Tottenham finish in Europa League and Conference League. Haaland, not as many goals as last season. 39 in the league this season. Top goal scorer with Sesco in 20. 
all in all, a very, very good season. At one point, Liverpool were running away with the league. I didn't think we were catching them, but somehow we, oh, we caught them by nine points and then overtook them as well. Liverpool, around January, December, lost grip on what they were doing. Lost the hold of the title, basically. Had a blip in the season. And we capitalised on that to win the Premier League again. Squad-wise, who got what? Haaland, 63 goals. He's had a poor season. There's not as many goals as last season. Gonna have to sell him. Gonna have to sell him. You can't keep going around scoring 63 goals a season. Last year, he got 64. So one goal less. Sesco got 32 goals in 49 appearances. Then comes Cirksey, 21 in 27 starts, 24 from the bench. Nico Williams got better, 15 goals this season. Turan got 12. Foden got himself 10. Assist wise, Foden got 20 assists. Nico Williams got 19. Busquets got 17 assists. And just look at those attributes. Wow. Wow. He is sub. He is world class. Definitely world class. We also signed Ada Gula. I forgot to mention at the start of the video. We signed him, but because it was season before, we signed him from Real Madrid for a fee of 56 million. He's had a good season. He's got good technicals. He's getting better. 24 years old. He's going to be here for a few years, I think. He is wanted by Atletico and RB Leipzig, and he's unhappy because he wants to start more games. Understandable. Five starts, 22 from the bench. Might cash in and make some money off him. Bruno Federico, three goals, 13 assists. Another player we signed at the end of last season didn't come up on the players in this season. Signed in from Sport in Lisbon for a fee of 50 million as another right back. And what a signing he has been. And he's only getting better and better and better. Great first season for him. Adam Waterman, 13 assists. Harlan got 12. Rodri. Ahmed Koulibaly. What a player he it will be. He is not, he will be, he is 21 years old. We signed him from Wolves for 75 million at the end of last season. World class, world class set midfielder, 21 years old. I think he is going to be our main central midfielder. 34 starts, seven from the bench. But all in all, a good season all around. We've won the Premier League. We've won everything apart from the FA Cup with Man City. There's nothing around at the moment in the Premier League that goes right you can win the FA Cup here you can nothing at all and there's nothing available abroad even if I get a chance to go to Spain or France to win the Europa League or Conference League I, there's nothing there there's like league table PSG ran away with it and our manager is Luis Enrique and you didn't get a set anytime soon but you gotta look at Lens Nice Troy's Monaco We've got Monaco Zabi as manager. Lil had a poor season. Lil is a good team. See, there's no teams there that will go, right, let's move to them to get another trophy and then maybe come back to England for the FA Cup. So we need to get Europa League on the Conference League. And Atletico Madrid, Thomas Tuchel's there now. I don't think he's going to be under any pressure to leave soon. Barcelona win it again. Level and put Real Madrid came second after losing only one game to Barcelona. So we're a bit of a predicament. We've had two seasons here at Man City. Do we stay for a third and try and get the FA Cup again? If we do, we have a budget of just under 100 million with a wage budget. We could probably, we could probably push it to 109 million. Or do we hold out a month and see what comes up? Or do we see who gets sacked? Hope you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all very shortly for season number seven of Glory Hunter. We didn't add anything to the trophy cabinet this time. Still won a lot. Until next time, take a say, look after yourself, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Doodles!